Who's the cutest robot? Robbie is the name. Making friends with animals. That's Robbie's favorite game. On land and in the sea, in deserts in that tree. Who wants to play with Roby? Me, me, me. Let's see. Are you making some new friends, Roby? <laughs> Do you know what kind of animal your new friends are? These are the penguins. You're not going to believe this, but penguins are birds. Penguins have wings, but they can't fly like other birds. Their wings are too small and their bodies are too heavy. But they do have feathers and beaks like birds. Yes, just like that. <laughs> Funny, isn't it, Roby? Their walk looks a little silly. But when it comes to swimming, penguins are experts. <laughs> penguins live near the ocean because they love swimming and catching fish. <laughs> You're right, Roby. It's cold. So how do penguins stay warm when it's so cold? I'll show you. Penguins have special waterproof feathers and a layer of fat to protect them from the cold. And since you're not a penguin, a hat can warm you up just great, Roby. Look how many penguins, Roby. Penguins live together in big groups, but every penguin also has its own small family, just like us. This is how penguin families start, Roby. Mama penguin lays an egg, and the penguin parents keep the egg safe and warm until the little chick is ready to hatch. Wow, these little penguins have big appetites. But he isn't old enough to eat on his own yet. So the mama penguin has to feed the baby food from her beak. Look at these hungry guys. They're chasing their mama to get more food. These baby penguins are brown. But when they get older, they grow all new black feathers, just like their parents. Do you think all these penguins look alike, Roby? They do to us, but penguin parents can tell their babies apart from all the other chicks. I don't think you can trick these penguins. You still look like Roby to me. Have you had a nice day with your new penguin friends, Roby? Me too, but I think it's time for us to go. We can come back tomorrow and have a nice swim with our new penguin pals. See you later, Roby. Did you make a new discovery, Roby? Do you know what it is? Yes, it's a bunny rabbit. And here are some more rabbits. Lots more rabbits. Some are white and some are brown. Some have long fur and some have short fur. And some rabbits have big long ears like this. <laughs> Do you know why rabbits have such big ears? So they can hear you coming. <laughs> rabbits use their ears to hear things from far away. Some have ears that face forward, and others have flippity floppity ears like this. But rabbits aren't born with big ears. When they're babies, their ears are small and short. 
But as they get older and bigger, so do their ears. Yes, just like that. <laughs> Baby rabbits are the cutest, littlest, itsiest, bitsiest things. That's why their mommies need to take extra special care of them when they're young. You want to know what grown-up rabbits eat, Roby? Let me show you. They eat lots of leaves and grass, and even fruits and veggies. Rabbits are really healthy animals. And you're a really healthy Roby. What is it, Roby? Oh, I see you've noticed the rabbit's nose. It keeps on twitching. That's how rabbits smell. That's their other super skill besides hearing. Rabbits have a super sense of smell. Look how fast the rabbit's nose moves. That means it's smelling something right now. And there's something else you can learn from the rabbit's nose. When a rabbit is scared, it'll move its nose faster and faster. And when a rabbit's happy, it'll move its nose slower and slower. I can see you're happy too, Roby. You know what else rabbits are good at? Cleaning. But rabbits don't take baths like us. They just stand on their back legs and clean themselves with the front legs. It looks like this Robo Bunny is all cleaned up and ready for bed. And now it's time to say goodbye. Bye bye, Roby. Bye bye, rabbits. Play too, Roby? Good, because these are funny, furry little friends who love to play. They're called foxes. Quiz time, Roby. Can you tell me what other animal foxes look like? That's right, Roby. Foxes look like dogs because dogs and foxes are from the same family. Yes, Roby, just like cousins. Foxes love family. They live together with their family so they can take care of each other. Just like us, foxes have mommies who take care of their babies. And when baby foxes make a mess, mommy fox has to keep them clean. Bon appetit, Foxy! See this fox's nose, Roby? It's long and pointy to help the fox sniff out food. I see you're hungry too, Roby. But I don't think you want to eat what the fox is eating, Roby. Foxes have big ears. Those big ears help them hear tiny noises from far, far away. Do you hear something from far away, Roby? <laughs> then let's check it out. Good ears, Roby. You heard the foxes sticking in the ground. And hey, look at this fox jumping. Where did he go? He went home to his burrow. Sometimes their burrows are up high above ground. Burrows are just like houses. It's where the foxes keep their food, sleep, and hang out with their families. Good thing you brought a flashlight, Roby. Foxes love nighttime. It's when they go out and play and eat from their mommies. Yes, and they rest mostly during the day. Let me show you. Be very quiet, Roby. After a long night of playing with their families and looking for food, these foxes are taking a nice nap. Shh, Roby. 
be sleeping. You want to play with the foxes some more, Roby? Come with me. Here you go, Roby. Some fluffy foxy friends ready to play with you. Have fun playing, Roby. See you next time. Hey, Roby, are you trying to say hello to your new friends? Well, let me introduce you. These large animals are dolphins. Good question, Roby. Dolphins look like fish, but they're not fish. Dolphins are mammals. That means they breathe air just like us. And when they're babies, they drink milk from their mamas just like us. That's a blowhole, Roby. Dolphins have them on top of their heads. That's how they breathe. When dolphins need air, they come up out of the water and take a big breath through their blowhole. After the dolphin took a big breath, it closes its blowhole and dives back underwater again. Dolphins can stay underwater for a long time with just one breath. To get around, dolphins have flat tails that they use to propel them through the water super fast. Do you think you can keep up, Roby? Want to know something else really cool about dolphins? They're super smart. They're so smart that they even have their own special language. Listen. They talk to each other by making clicking and whistling sounds. Do you think you can do it too? Whoa, I didn't know you could speak dolphin, Roby. Dolphins are also very friendly and love spending time together in groups called pods. It makes them so happy. Look, they're smiling. You know what else makes dolphins happy? Swimming together. They love to play and do tricks. Check this out. You think you can jump and spin like that? <laughs> wow, Roby, you're good. Dolphins also love to surf and race each other. Wanna join them, Roby? <laughs> Cowabunga, Roby. We'll see you later. <laughs> The cutest robot. Roby is a name. Making friends with animals. That's Roby's favorite game. On land and in the sea, in deserts in that tree. Who wants to play with Roby? Me, me, me. Let's Where's everybody running to? This funny animal is a chicken, Roby. And these are her little chicks. Chickens live together in groups with their family and friends. That red thing on their heads looks pretty funny, doesn't it, Roby? 
It's called a comb. <laughs> that comb is too big for you, Roby. Look out! Roby, are you okay? Combs help us tell male chickens and female chickens apart. I'll show you. Male chickens are called roosters, and they have big combs and really long tails. Female chickens are called hens and have smaller combs and shorter tails. That's how we tell them apart. Wow, did you hear that sound, Roby? That's the rooster crowing. Roosters make loud noises like this to let the other chickens know it's time to start the day. Like an alarm clock. That's a good crow, Roby. You're just like a rooster. Do you know what this hen is doing? She's laid eggs and she's sitting on them. And look what comes out of the eggs. A little chick. When chicks come out of eggs, it's called hatching. Even though the chicks have hatched, they enjoy staying underneath their mom where it's comfy and cozy. I don't think there's room for you underneath this chicken, Roby. Sorry. And when they grow up a little, chicks follow their mommy everywhere she goes. Do you know where they're going now? To eat lunch. Their favorite food is seeds. The seeds are for the chickens, Roby. Chickens don't have hands like us, so they use their strong beaks to eat. Roby, you don't have a beak. All chickens are covered with feathers, Roby. And they come in many different colors like brown, white, and black. Feathers protect the chickens and keep them warm. That's right, Roby, just like a woolen hat. It's okay, Roby. The roosters are only playing. But don't get in their way. Their beaks are sharp. You want to play with the chickens some more, Roby? Okay, you can play for a few more minutes. flies like a bird, but it's not a bird. It's colorful. It's a butterfly. Butterflies are insects that come in all different shapes, sizes, and colors. And butterflies have four wings. Yes, but they're very small, so it looks like they only have two wings. That's how they fly so beautifully. <laughs> you don't need wings, Rosie. You fly beautifully without them. Do you want to know something even more incredible about butterflies? Then get ready for this. It doesn't look like it, but these are butterflies too. That's right. Butterflies start their lives as caterpillars with no wings at all. After a little while, a caterpillar will go into a cocoon. See, a cocoon is like a big fluffy blanket that helps the caterpillar sleep. And you're not gonna believe what happens next. When the caterpillar comes out of the cocoon, it's turned into a butterfly. But it needs to stretch its wings first before it can fly. So when it's ready, the butterfly will unfold its wings and fly high into the air. All that flying makes butterflies hungry. Do you know what they like to eat? Sweet nectar from flowers. They fly from flower to flower, collecting as much nectar as they can get. 
You see those two long things on top of its head? Those are called antennae. Antennae help the butterflies find flowers with nectar. But butterflies don't have mouths. So how do they eat the nectar? I'll show you. Other than the antennae, the butterfly has this long tube on its head that's used like a straw to suck up all the nectar from the flower. <laughs> Sweet, isn't it? I think it's time for the butterflies to go find some more food. And it's time for us to head home. Say bye-bye to the butterflies, Roby. Bye-bye, butterflies. And bye-bye, Roby. Like you've met a new friend, Roby. Do you know who it is? It's a zebra. Zebras have black and white stripes all over their bodies. You're right, zebras do look alike, but they're very different. Let me show you. Do you know why zebras have all those black stripes? Many reasons. The stripes help zebras hide and blend into their wilderness surroundings. The stripes also help keep buzzing little flies away. And most importantly, the stripes help zebras recognize each other. You're <laughs> funny, Roby. <laughs> You're not a zebra. Every zebra, big and small, young and old, have their own special stripes that no other zebra has. Even baby zebras have them. Little bitty baby zebras like this are called foals. They grow very fast and can even stand up on all four legs soon after they're born. Look at all those zebras! Zebras live together in big groups like this because it's easier for them to take care of each other, just like we do. And just like us, Zebra mommies feed their babies lots and lots of milk. Yup, that foal is really thirsty, Roby. After their big breakfast, those two are getting ready for the day by grooming each other. Now the zebras are ready to do what they do best. Look for more food, of course. Zebras spend most of their time traveling far and wide searching for their favorite food. Do you know what their favorite food is? Zebras love to eat grass. All that eating can make a zebra thirsty, so now it's time to go to the lake and get a nice cool drink. And the lake isn't just for drinking. Zebras use the lake to take baths, splash each other, and have lots of fun. Zebras are friends with all animals, even birds like this. Of course zebras will be friends with you too, Roby. Looks like the zebras have had enough food and play for the day. They're heading off to get some sleep. You're tired too, Roby. Then it's time to say goodbye to our new zebra friends. Bye, Roby! Bye, zebras! this deer, don't you? He's very shy, but he must like you very much since he's letting you take photos. Deer live all over the world in many different places. Some deer live in cold places and have white fur. 
That's right, Roby. Their fur matches the color of the snow. <laughs> White is your color, Roby. Some deer live in the forest and have brown fur. Yes, Roby, like that. There are even deer with spots. Wanna see? I wonder what you would look like with spots, Roby. Not bad, Roby. Those are pretty cool, aren't they? They look just like horns, but they're actually antlers. And only male deer have them. Male deer use their antlers for protection against bigger animals. And sometimes they use them to have competitions with other deer to see who's stronger. Look out, Roby! There you are, Roby. You landed right next to a herd. A herd is what a large group of deer is called. They're really great friends. They even help groom each other. But what deer love most of all is eating. And eating. And eating. Deer eat lots of grass and even leaves from trees. <laughs> grass is for deer, not rovies. Now let me show you something really cute. This cute baby deer is called a fawn. Fawns are little and spend most of their time with their mamas. But sometimes when the mamas need to run an errand, the other deer babysit. Or fawn sit is more like it. <laughs> deer have very powerful eyesight and super hearing. They can hear their baby fawns from far away. Deer are just like one big happy family. Do you want to hang out some more with your new deer friends, Roby? Okay, then you better hurry and catch up with them. Bye, Roby. Have fun. Who's the cutest robot? Roby is a name. Making friends with animals. That's Roby's and in the sea, in deserts, in the tree. Who wants to play with Roby? Me, me, me. Let's play. Look, Roby, this animal looks just like your teddy bear. <laughs> and do you know why? <laughs> because it's a real bear. <laughs> but these are no teddy bears, Roby. These bears are real, and they're really big. <laughs> and these really big bears live all over our really big world. Look at this white bear. He's a polar bear. And polar bears live in cold, snowy places. Polar bears have a white fur that protects them from the cold. Just like your big, warm fur hat. Having white fur helps them blend in with their white, snowy surroundings. And do you see all that snow? This is a frozen ocean. That's where polar bears live. It's too cold here. I think it's time we go meet some bears where it's a little warmer, Roby. Did you see that bear's nose moving? That's how he smells. Bears have very sensitive noses 
and can smell food from far, far away. And when a bear smells something in the air, he'll follow it. Look at him standing on two legs. He wants to get a better sniff. What's the bear doing in the river? Is that where the food is? That's it! He's trying to catch a fish! And here's Mama Bear and her little baby bears. They're called cubs. And they're super cute. They just love to play. While the cubs play, Mama Bear likes to take a nap. It's a lot of work caring for the cubs. And this baby bear has a great game, climbing to the tippy tops of trees using his long claws. Another thing bears do with their claws is scratch themselves all over, even their noses. <laughs> After a long day of eating, climbing trees and scratching, this bear is ready for bed. Good night, Roby. Good night, bears. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.